What's the difference between half-life, time constant and rate constant? Well, let's draw the exponential decay curve of plasma concentration over time. On our y-axis, we have the plasma concentration, and the scale we'll use here is percent of the original drug concentration at time zero. And on our x-axis, we have time. The time it takes for half of the drug to be eliminated is the half-life. Easy. Hence the 50% I've drawn here. Half-life units are usually in minutes in this context. Then comes the time constant. The time constant is defined by the time that will be taken for the concentration of the drug to reach zero if the rate of decline remained at the initial level. So we just draw a tangent to the curve at the initial rate, and where it reaches zero, we get the time constant, expressed as tau by convention. Again, the unit is in minutes. So what's the concentration of the drug in the plasma after one time constant? Well, we just draw a vertical line up here to reach the curve, and then a horizontal one across, and we reach roughly 37% of the initial concentration, or more precisely, 1 over E, Euler's number. Put that into your calculator if you don't believe me. You can see here that the half-life is always less than time constant. I won't overload you with maths behind the exponentials, but half-life is roughly 0.693 times the time constant. So then what's the rate constant? Easy peasy is the inverse of the time constant. So now, if you know any of these three values for any given drug, you can calculate the rest of the three values. And using the equation for plasma concentration, as long as you know the concentration at time zero, you can then calculate the plasma concentration at any given time. There's the topic in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it. Why not like and subscribe for more?